so who should I talk to about what's happening here? Well, I, I guess I'm the artist. Um, and I just wanted to, to make kind of more of a non-objective piece, that a form that looks like it's either coming in or coming out of the, the uh, mobile box that we've been provided um, by the city to do these art pieces in. Um, so the idea is that the box becomes part of the piece, um, and so the whole thing um, is the piece itself. And it, but what it is exactly, I cannot tell you. You know, it's it's uh, it's up to your imagination. Why is it that you can't tell me what this is? <laughs> I don't know. What it's, uh, it's just an abstract form, like, you know, an objective form that um, can reference a lot of different things. But you know, it's up to you to, to see how your personal interpretation is. And it and when it gets dark, it'll, it'll be uh, illuminated purple at night. So it'll become this big purple object becoming more playful and um, add another element to the piece. So how is it that you became involved with this box? Um, I was invited by Donna Bell to um, participate in Florence Night Out and one of uh, six artists, uh, five other pods are spread out throughout the, the town and that's that's how this all came about. So she said, hey, I've got this DIY mobile box. Would you like to put something in it or out of it? Or what, 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 yeah, see, like, what was the... the uh, we have these, these boxes that you can work with and what you want to do is up to you. Um, and so I would imagine a lot of people are doing things inside the boxes. Um, the outside as well. Uh, you know, they all are supplied power, and um, but other than that, it's up to you to what you want to do. And so, what? How did this occur to you? Is this something that is this typical of your work? Uh, not not really. I, I I work with light a lot, and I work I've worked with uh, large balloons, and I've been wanting to incorporate these inflatables. Uh, this is kind of what you call them giant inflatable. Yeah, I never really made one, so I thought this would just be a good opportunity to uh, to play around with making one of these, you know, creating a form and and drawing out the the pattern and then taping it all together and then seeing how it works. So this is, in maybe maybe ways, like sketches for other pieces or, or a trial for, for future work. So this is a little new for me. So can we get up close to it and you can tell me, you've taped it together? Tell me more about that. What's the medium here? It's just the plastic, a simple plastic that you can buy at Home Depot. It's 3.5 mil and then uh, tape, tape together. Uh, so it's super basic. Um, I think it's perfect for a, kind of a one night event like this. It's, you know, it's not overly complicated or expensive, yet it's still entertaining and fun um, and hopefully uh, artistic in some way. And uh, so I kind of like that simplicity of it in many ways. Um, and you know, it becomes very versatile. It's just a giant box fan that, that keeps it inflated. Oh. Yeah. And, and will it also be illuminated from inside? inside. Yep. Yeah. So we'll have to uh, come back at night when it's... Uh, do you have... 7.30. Yeah, 7.30ish. Yeah. And how do you find it? I can't wait to see the, when AIE turns the light on, you know? And <laughs> it's unique and... It's a big question mark to me, like, what is it? <laughs> you know, I'm waiting for the results. So when you snap that light on, I guess I'll have my answer. But would I know the reason why? Nope. <laughs> because I guess that's the secret of the artist. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. I uh, guess I, I just am so impressed here with this, with this shape. And I love how it's just sort of, you know, just coming on out of the box. Yeah, like it's, you know, just it's like, kind of wedged in there. It's, it's either having a hard time getting in or coming out. Uh, you know, it's, to me, I find it very playful. It's going to be an interesting night in Florence, you know? Yeah. <laughs>
there's, I, I was I don't know if is this, is this the first year they had this. Um, I think they've had two others. Oh, two others. Um, I was born and raised here in Florence, and yeah. I never knew it. Yeah. I saw the menu today. The, I think there's one on May Day, and then there is another one before uh -huh. that, if I remember. Because I know there's a scavenger hunt coming up. Oh yeah. Right in October. Next You're gonna Are you gonna participate? I. I think I will. You'll have a good shot. Well, I was born and raised. Yeah, that will help. Well, it cannot hurt. It no, cannot like hurt. It's a good challenge to me. But you know, when you live someplace all your life, and you go by all these places all your life, and then someone says, oh, it's been around there for 40 years. Like, 40 years? <laughs> I lived there my whole life. I never knew about it. You know, so it would be interesting to go on that scavenger. Sure. Fun thing to do. Influence. You learn some new things about. You do. You know. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I mean that that building there. You know the, the hall. Mm -hmm. That's not original. That was down by. You know where Friendly's is down there. There's where that building comes from. Oh really? I was here the day that they moved it up there. Oh. You know, and that was the Civic Center. Huh. So take it from. How long ago was that? Man, I was, I was a little something. You know, I might have been in my teens, maybe, or early teens or something. That was a big move in Florence, you know, so you can see that now. And they renovated, you know, throughout the years, so it's long ago. And they, they've done well for Florence, you know, they put it all together. And they like to get everybody involved in a little time. Yeah, you know. It should be a fun night. Yeah, it, yeah. They already started over yeah. there. And there's a band up here. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Matter of fact, uh, a couple of girls went up and I guess they decided to set up. So, do you know what box number you are? I think I'm box number six. All right. And just one more time with your name? Chris Nelson. Chris Nelson. Yeah. And do you live in Florence? I live in Holyoke. Mm hmm. Been there for. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. You too.